Hi everyone, welcome back to the craft room. Today's card is going to be using these stamps, which are Bird Crazy CMS212, Tim Holtz collection from Stampers Anonymous. Quite an old set, a lot of people have got these, so. Um, I've got the stamps, I've got the dies, and this cuts out the wings and eyes. So we're gonna do a little bit of layering, not much and some colouring. Now these dies cut right up to the edge of the stamp. They're not too difficult to line up but if you do have problems lining them up, a lot of people would know this tip but I thought I would just show it to you. What you should do is do the die cuts first and pop those out and then in your stamp platform that in and then if you line up the stamp with the aperture it sort of will lock in so you sort of feel when it's locked in there and we'll pick those up and then the die pieces back in and then stamp them. I'm going to use a memento because I'm going to colour in alcohol inks. Lined up die cuts. So I'm going to get the extra pieces stamped and cut and then get these guys coloured in.
So there's our two little birds. I've just put some glossy accents on their eyes, which needs to dry. So I'll pop those to one side for the minute and get a card base sorted. So I've got this little stamp here, this is called Stacking Animals and I think it's either, I think it's Lawn Fawn or Avery Owl, but old ones, but it's, I've got your back stamp. So I think I might have that there. Okay, I'm going to put that to one side for their eyes to dry, otherwise I'm going to mess those up. I shouldn't have done them first, but I did, so I will uh, come back to that when it's dried, I think. So while the glossy accents are drying, I thought I would just do a little bit of something on the background. I don't want much. I do want to try and keep it within an area, but that's not going to be easy with these, which are brushos. I've got orange and I've got turquoise. So, like I said, I don't want to do too much. This is not watercolour card either. But I will try and keep it contained. So, I'm not saying not that. I don't want this to be huge. So I think the birds are going to cover up most of that but I only wanted a hint and if I think I need to add more I will. So I'm going to get, let that fully dry until we're ready to put the card together. Okay so they're almost dry and this is dry so I thought I would just crack on. I'm going to put the sentiment straight on there. If it goes wrong I will put it on a layer and put it on so I'll get that done and then I will get the card put together
So that's today's card with Tim Holtz's Crazy Bird, Bird Crazy, whichever way it is. And a little bit of brush shows on the background. So that's it for this time. Thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you next time. Okay, bye.